What is going on, guys? It's Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear, and today is something that I've got in the mail that I've been waiting for for a while. These are knives that I sent off to my man, Big Boar Knife and Gear. Scott has, does excellent work with his anodization, and he just called me up one day and said, Hey, man, you want me to do something with those knives? And I was like, well, yeah, yeah. So I shipped them out to him. He got it done. We had a couple of... Uh, mishaps with uh, the U.S. Postal Service because every government program works uh, amazingly, right? Yeah. So anyway, this will be the first time that I'm seeing them. I'm so, so excited. Or the first time that I get to hold them. He did send me some pictures. Uh, but, it, you know, you know as well as I do, getting them uh, in hand, it looks totally different than just seeing pictures. And we are going to do that. Today's unboxing knife is the TRM Atom. Uh, let's get to it. All right. Whoops. I'm going to do that. Let's get into this box. Of course, the TRM Adam does light work of getting this thing in. All right. I did send it to him in the original boxes. Get it out of here. Aha. So, the two knives that he did for me are the Giant Mouse Ace Sonoma and the uh, Kaiser Sheepdog, the original one with the titanium handles and the S35VN blade. Which one do I want to do first? Let's do the Giant Mouse. I love this knife. If you guys haven't checked out my review of this thing, uh, definitely go check it out. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at the stencil job on this knife. This thing was I, uh, basically a bronze color. Uh, everything on it was bronze. This he did in like a rose gold. Uh, and then he put the stencil on there to make this really cool logo. I am absolutely, and the blue backspacer. And then look at that, that kind of bluish green tone on the pocket clip. This thing is awesome. Uh, whenever we, whenever we first, uh, started talking, it's like, okay, so what colors do you like and which colors do you not like? And I was like, Hey, man, I'm not a big fan of pink and yellow. And so, <laughs> and then he did this and in the pictures, it looked pink and it might, it might do it right in, in front of uh, the camera right now, but it's a rose gold color and just look at how that pops. And I'm really digging the logo. Like, that sets enough apart. It was just plain Jane before. And the contrast between the blue and the rose gold, it just looks amazing. Oh, guys, if you haven't checked out uh, Scott at Big Board Knife and Gear, you need to go check him out on YouTube and Instagram. He posts a lot of his knife mods on Instagram. Uh, I will have it linked down in the description. So excited for this knife. Now my knife is not the same as anybody else's. I have a Ace Sonoma, uh, Giant Mouse Ace Sonoma that is customized and I will cherish this thing forever. All right, next to this one I'm really, really excited about because I have uh, been wanting an anodization job like this. And I told him, I didn't, uh, I didn't tell him what to do. He just kind of did his thing. I told him, I trust you. And uh, he just kind of did his thing. And he, oh, looks, I have got some stickers. There is his channel, Big Boar Knife and Gear. Uh, so excited about that. I didn't know he was sending some stickers. He is awesome. Okay, let's get to it. This is the one that I really have been looking forward to. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh. Oh, let me see if I can get the light. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is freaking amazing. Oh, okay. See, this is what I really... I didn't tell him I wanted this. He just did this on his own. And this is exactly what I was looking for. Look at that. I mean, I told him when I first saw the picture that this... I'm going to call this knife now Thor God of Thunder. That is going to be this knife's name. Look at that lightning anodization. All the cool copper, blue, purple tones. This looks gorgeous. I 
And, and then he did a flame anodization on the pocket clip. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, well, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first got this knife out and I was uh, talking about it, I said, hey, this, these titanium handles are basically a blank canvas. What should I do? Should I anodize them a certain color? Because I can't anodize at my place of work, but it's only solid colors. I can't do any of this, this really cool, uh, funky stuff like Scott can. And... And people said, hey, yeah, you should anodize this color. You should laser etch your logo or something on it. I am so, so happy that he offered to do this. He is such a great guy. Definitely go check him out at Big Boar Knife and Gear. Uh, on, I'm going to put, put a link to both of his pay, his uh, Instagram and his uh, YouTube and link down below. You will be seeing more of this knife. I am going to have to show this off. Huh. Scott, kudos, my brother. This thing is gorgeous. Both of these are gorgeous. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit the like and subscribe button. I got a lot more of this kind of stuff coming. Uh, please go hit up Big Boy Knife and Gear. Just look, I, I just, I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless. He did such a great job, and uh, I owe him a debt because this is straight up beautiful. All right, guys, this is it. I'm going to go play with these things and show them off to all my friends. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just stoked. Guys, thanks. Hit the like button, subscribe. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one.